that we ought to see what areas of agreement there are and see if we can make some progress for the country. I always like to remind people that divided government's not unusual in this country. We've had it frequently, I think maybe even more often than not since World War II. Uh, when the American people choose divided government, I don't think it means they don't want us to do anything. I think it means they want us to look for areas of agreement. Uh, the Senate in the last few years basically doesn't do anything. Uh, we don't even vote. Uh, Senator Begich, who may have been defeated yesterday, had the handicap of trying to explain to the people of Alaska why in six years he hadn't had a roll call vote on the floor on an amendment. Uh, the first thing uh, I need to do is to get the Senate back to normal. That means working more. I don't think we've had any votes on Friday in anybody's memory. It means um, opening the Senate up so that amendments are permitted on both sides. And it means occasionally burning the midnight oil in order to reach a conclusion. Well, the Senate was the problem, not the House. The House passed over 300 pieces of legislation, many of them on a bipartisan basis, and nothing was done with them in the Senate. The American people have changed the Senate. So I think we have an obligation to change the behavior of the Senate and to begin to function again. Well, look, there's only one Democrat who counts, the President. 